Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are about to do the second race in the season uh, for Formula E. So after the great result we had last race where we came 8th and 11th, let's go in and see what we can do this time. So yeah, we can't fit any more parts. So acceleration and deceleration are crucial here. So I'll take that into account for my setup. Um, and also like the spec part for the gearbox, so I can't change that. But brakes are good, and I think we've got good brakes. So as always, we're going to choose our two drivers. And as expected, um, let's go for a high downforce, or slightly higher, just an extra one and a half degrees on the front and the back and then uh, we'll go a bit harder as well there we go let's see what that's like um ultra soft 11 to 13 15 to 17 um yeah let's do a qualifying run on ultra soft and then we will uh see how it goes for the race like we might go with the super softs and just like get a load of good results from those so yeah that'll do you're on the ultra soft as well let's go so I'm going to tell them to push a little bit see if we can get a quick lap time in just so that people think we've done better in practice need more responsive handling okay So we're currently 4th and 6th, that's not too bad, aero feels fantastic, okay. Downforce feels bang on, so handling wasn't very good for Barutia. Barutia, I really don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, I suppose that's one of the things, me not being Argentinian. Aero setup's better, you're not very happy with the speed balance, okay. Okay, so we came 14th, 15th in practice. I'm happy with that. Uh, it's the slowest on Ultrasoft, but we were doing a few setup changes at that point. They're saying it's pretty lame. I don't care, to be honest, because I know in the race with our level 3 super soft and level 3 race performance, we're going to do really, really well. And obviously, it's the race where you get the points. So, Ultrasoft qualifying. Ultra soft. No, actually, let's go that and that. Car setup. 98%. Definitely use that. Definitely put you on ultras. You don't like your setup. That actually got worse. So, I'm thinking that was good. That was bad. Or, so you want let's try that and then a little bit more wing let's try that for him on his first lap take qualifying send out go send you a bit later hopefully you will avoid the traffic on your flying lap now because everyone would have come out whereas you you've got traffic already 
Oh no, he's got far enough ahead now. Ooh. Oh, great and perfect. Oh, Martin, you're going to get a really good lap if that setup works for you. Super soft, race trim, super soft, race trim. Uh, start on ultra soft, your strategy is good as well. Push, push, overtake, overtake. Okay, let's see if we can get a good start. Okay, Martin got a flyer at the start. He's lost a few places now. Okay, I'm going to drop their engine modes down. And stay on push tyres for a little while until they put some heat into them. That's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. This is really tight racing at the back. looking good. Same for you. So it's just been the Hungarian Grand Prix in Formula 1 in real life and it was a bit of a boring race, um, it has to be said. Um, yeah, didn't really enjoy the race very much. Um, it was good at the beginning and it just sort of tailed off and didn't go anywhere. Um, So, we got Eurasia. I'm going to call him Santiago because I'm going to say that. Santiago is coming to the pits. He's dropped to 19th place. Um, but now everyone else has to pit around us. And we've got really good performance on the super soft tyres. So hopefully, we will uh, be able to make up some places. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! Right. We're still in front of Carol. That's good. Hopefully people have reliability issues again. Because if they have reliability issues, then it means we can overtake them in the pits, because our reliability is pretty strong. 
Right, let's put you on a higher engine mode for a little while. Right, we've made a few places in those pit stops. We've got in front of Engel. Oh no, Engel's just gone back past. Just about to say, we got in front of Engel, and it was, uh, he was the one who we were following before. So Martin's just been lapped, uh, he's in his own little race, <laughs> yeah I don't know why he's so far back to be honest, um, let's put up your engine just a little bit, try and help you defend, no, lost two places in one. Great overtake, really really good, come on. So we've jumped two places in the pit stops. I think once again people are having these reliability issues that are meaning that we can have quicker pit stops and uh, get past them. So uh, let's pump you up and you can go on those again. Fix your brakes. Yep, yeah, let's go. Right, you're having suspension issues. Okay, that's fine. You'll be putting in a few laps anyway. Right, we should be able to get to the end. So let's just make sure we fix a few parts right yeah we might as well push for a little bit with uh, Martin because he's going to have to pit again so uh, Okay, we've got a solid car on both sides. Let's see what we can do. So your rate is actually flying, he's decreasing the gap to the guy in front of him. Um, Shane 19th, like right there. Right, you're tired Dave, you're saying it's getting really bad, so let's drop that. 12 laps remaining. Okay, we've got 10 laps left of the of the race. Uh, I'm thinking of putting Martin in the next few laps uh, and putting him on the ultra soft. Uh, as soon as I know, he will definitely get to the end on them. Um, but it's going okay. We're not having the best of races here in terms of position. Um, and we nearly lost another place there. Um, but hopefully, um, we can make up some places in the final, uh, like, stim. So, uh, let's, where are you? You're there. Yeah, let's do one more lap with you. So, we're going to put you on the ultra softs. Yeah, car condition's okay. You're going to make it to the end, aren't you, Yerusha? Mm. 
So PK Jr. is probably going to have to pit again. Uh, Heidfeld certainly going to have to pit again. Carroll may have to pit again. Villeneuve will. You know what? We might be able to do this. We might be able to make up some places. Right, you can push on those tyres now. Where's 16? Not too far ahead. <gasps> Villeneuve's retired! Yes, we're going to make up a place. This is what we need. We need people to retire or have long pit stops. Just anything that can give us a bit of a boost. Oh, PK is not pitting. Heidfeld's in the pits. We've overtaken Heidfeld. Good. No, I'm actually going to put the tyres on conserve, just so that I know we can make it. Uh, let's turn down your pushing. PK Jr. is probably going to have a pretty good run at us in the last stint of the race. Um, it's going to be tight on Santiago. What's the gap? 12 seconds to Vern behind. So, as long as we don't lose too much time. Oh yes, Prost retired as well. That's going to give us 13th. We're going to meet our sponsor objective. Two laps remaining, guys. We're going to do this. We're going to be fine. We're going to win. Not going to win. We're going to do well, though. Come on, guys. That's it. This is the end. Yeah, we've done it. 13th and 17th. Not a bad result. No, I think that's pretty good. Considering we qualified 19th and 20th, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm That's a, a good enough result. We didn't get any points, unfortunately. But I think we need to work on qualifying a bit more. So we have dropped in the Drivers' Championship because we didn't get any points. Um, and we're ninth in the constructors. Ooh. This is, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how our chairman's going to feel. Hopefully their morale's going to go up. Good. Yeah, our marketability has gone down. Not good. We made a £13,000 loss. You know what? I'm happy with that. Um... Our brakes have now been built after the uh, after the race. So uh, interview Eurosport. Yep. Um, no, there we go. Let's just choose that one. Hard fought win. Yeah, brake builds finished. Let's fit the brakes. Okay, who's got what at the moment? You've got average. So I'm going to give you those brakes, but as soon as they get better, then we'll give them to um, we'll give them to Santiago. Uh, yeah, that's all looking good. We can't improve parts because we need to repair the car first. But what do we go with? Um, next race suspension is going to be crucial, so let's go with suspension. Um, let's go with that because that improves reliability and performance uh, so I think that's good let's build that part and let's see what happens 
good, you've accepted your contract, so let's sign it. That actually saves us a bit of money, uh, it was a reduction in fees, but also means they're now equal status. So if we go back to our cart and we go to fit part, you're still angry, but maybe that will change once we've skipped ahead next time. Um, yeah, scouting. Sponsors. Right, we've got some sponsors. Let's have a look. So we've got Rexona, Gas Monkey, and GM. Uh, right, let's have a look. Um, right, I'm going to work this out. This is really sad, but I'm working out how much money each sponsor is going to give me. Um, but as I'm not going to get four fifth uh, at all, then. I'm basically gonna get like who's gonna give me the most money actually yeah what I'm gonna do because I know I'm never gonna get any of them I'm gonna go with GM because they give me the biggest upfront payment so let's accept that let's get another 8 million in the bank okay fifth seventh or eighth um, to be honest this is gonna be the best offer because they give us the biggest upfront payment. It is the smallest bonus payment, but we're more likely to get eight than the others. So let's go with that one. Get an extra two million. Okay, uh, Infinity, uh, Matmut, and Sparko. So let's work out how much each of them are going to give us. So Infinity are going to give us, over the 16 races, 20.8 million. Matmut, are going to give us 21,400,000 and Sparko, who are only a two star, yeah, they're, no, they're definitely not going to give us the much. So I'm going to go with Matmut. So we, we got all this money coming in, so we're going to be able to develop more. Uh, and now we've got NEC, Nike and Harley Davidson. So I'm going to say that Harley Davidson are one of our new sponsors. So if we go to our car now and I can sort of drag it round, we should see our new sponsor. There's Matmut and GM. Uh, where are Harley Davidson? So let's go to our HQ. As we've got all this money, we can build a new uh, thing. So. I like the idea of a test track that's going to give us better engines. Um, yeah, let's go with the test track. We're going to build a test track. And can we upgrade? No, that's quite expensive. Let's go new buildings again. Let's go handling development. Yeah. Let's go with that. And if we go to our finances now. Even if we don't get our bonuses, we're going to be making £86,000 profit each race. So I feel that we've got some really good sponsors on board now. So let's just skip time forward a bit. So I've just scouted Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, he's currently the best driver that we know about. Um, and yeah, he's pretty much five stars. Um, I'm a massive Daniel Ricciardo fan, so I'm glad that he's got that rating in the game. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. Oh look, he's won the race. And he's winning the championship at the moment. Oh, top job, Daniel. So our sponsors still aren't very good, apparently. Our staff are alright. Our car is not very good. Um, we're currently below target. That's okay. Oh dear. Charlie Lafort trying to sneak information out of the garage. Do we fire him? Do we fine him? Or do we leave it? Um, if we go scouting, if we go race mechanics, who isn't in a team right now? Um, they need to be at least three. Let's go Alex Denea. Let's see if he's compare what how does he yeah he's he's better than Lafort as well let's approach him he's interested right wages are important to you 
I'll give you even more. Um, let's see what he says to that. And I'm going to fire him. I, the fact that he has been leaking um, information, I think, is totally unacceptable. So we've got our suspension. Let's fit our suspension to the car. Where are we? Suspension. So you can have that and that. Uh, our brakes still aren't very good. So let's work on our brakes. Um, so we can have... We'll go with that one. That looks really good. Oh, we get a slot three? Yeah, let's go with that. And then we get one of these as well. So let's... We, we could, like, make it, like, super good. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that. That is going to be a flipping good break. Um, so let's build part. Actually, our lead designer's not very good. Maybe I should start looking at other lead designers because uh, staff, where are you? He's only two and a half stars, but he's got a long time left on his contract because I put a long contract on him. Um, he was really good, but maybe I'm thinking now, but yeah. Yeah. Politics vote. Replace Tondela GP with Rio de Janeiro. So, um, it's hard to predict what effect it will have. You know what, I'm going to abstain. I'm not really fussed, to be honest. Uh, and it means we get another vote um, in the next flight. Uh, so there we go, Tondela will be replaced. Right, contract proposal. You want to renegotiate. Okay, what aren't you happy with? Not happy with that bonus. Okay. And you want a bit more money per race. I can do all that. Contract proposal. He's accepted. Yes. Okay, that's good. Let's sign you. Let's get rid of you because you're not very good. Confirm. There we go. We've got our engineers now, our race mechanics, who are pretty good. Uh, we've got our mail contract signed. We go home. Our staff has just jumped up as well, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you guys have uh, enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.